Hey guys, Brian Regala here for Outside. This is Riggs 101. This series is all about adventure vehicles. So buckle up because we've got a lot to talk about. To me, driving is not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about how you get there and what you find along the way. And that is the whole point of a good adventure mobile. It's something that enables you to get outside more often and do the things you love. Okay, so today we are down in Albuquerque, New Mexico at Tactical Application Vehicles. These guys are a custom vehicle builder. What does that mean? Well, if you drive a Toyota truck and you want it totally built out, this is where you send it. They work on Tacomas, Tundras, Forerunners, and they build basically the coolest adventure vehicles you've ever seen. Let's go take a look. Walt, what's up, man? Hey, man. Good How to you see you again. Good. So Good. this is Walt Wagner. He owns TAV, or Tactical Application Vehicles. Walt, tell us what you do and what you guys are all about. Well, kind of just over the years, just kind of found a need for building something real specific to how we want to use these vehicles. Toyota puts them out. They have to build it for the masses, sure. you know, and everybody's different. So that's where, that's kind of where we come in. We really kind of dig into the client's brain on how they're going to use it mm -hmm. and kind of build from there. And everybody's different. Everybody's got a different requirement, whether they ride mountain bikes or, you know, they just love to go camp or they actually work off their vehicle like photographers or something like that. So this has got to be your, your custom platform for what you want it to do. And then we also, we want to be able to try and fit it in a budget too. Yeah. I, I mean, budget's very important. There's no way to sugarcoat it. This stuff's expensive. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the, best, the best equipment you can buy and put on, on these trucks. What did this client want to use this truck for? It is an expedition platform for him. Um, he's coming here for Overland Expo. He'll be here today, uh, a couple hours Great. to see this for the first time. So, all right, let's talk basics. Like, sure. What the hell did you do to this thing? This is a this is a 2018 Tacoma. So real quick, um, body armor all the way around, 360 degrees, stage plus, stage two plus, uh, front suspension, long travel, total chaos, and king. Everything from this coil bucket mm -hmm. down is basically replaced. Got Upper it. and lower control arms, axle shafts, gears, all of that is, is completely replaced. That's your language barrier to the ground. That's a good way so to put that. If there's a if the, the, if the truck doesn't speak the same language as, as the ground, yeah. then there's a problem. That's so not good. If there's a breakdown in there, there's a problem. McNeil Racing fenders. Um, so you took the stock fenders correct. off of here. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the stock metal fender, steel fender, comes off. Same thing with the bed. Mm -hmm. We put these on and we do this because this is a much larger wheel opening here. That allows us to use much lower lift heights. We don't, we don't want to lift a truck off the ground just to get a lift kit out of it or just build sure. it huge to fit a big tire. And that's important. So this is not just lifting the truck for looks. Right. This, yeah. is, this is purpose. There's a purpose Absolutely. behind this. Behind every nut and bolt that goes on this truck, there's a reason for that. Okay, so where does he sleep? He camps out of this thing, he says. Exactly, so yeah. Easy. <clears throat> so the, this is the Alucab Gen 3 uh, rooftop tent. So there's a plug inside that you can plug into that down into the truck. Oh, wow. And that will power a two USB chargers, a 12 volt charger, and two reading lamps up in there. Wow. There's enough room inside the tent to where you can leave your bedding made, basically your pillows, your blankets, sleeping bags, whatever you want. The cool thing about these is the setup time is so fast. I mean, you just, I mean, you can set up camp in about 15 seconds. That's you know, awesome. So. <laughs> so he's really got this set up as a go anywhere, do anything camper. Yeah, yeah, very, it's a very low profile, highly maneuverable RV, basically. And you have a hot shower, heat in your living space, a refrigerator with food. You can eat really nice out on the trail. You can have every single thing that you would take with you and your toys, you know, bikes and stuff like that, or your, your work equipment, mm -hmm. camera, cram, camera equipment, whatever you may have, charge all that stuff up on the road, and everything's in its spot. Everything has its own, everything has its own little home. That's the, that's the whole idea behind the name of our company is to kind of approach all these builds with tact, you know, and, and a, thought, a thought process behind it, and rather than just, if there's a space, fill it with some kind of gear, you know, it's, it's gotta have a reason for being there. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of sense. So it's all about that customer figuring out what they want, right. and then you figure out a way to get right. it done. So what is, what is uh, something like this cost? Anywhere from like a stage one, if, if you want somebody who just wanted to bring in a stock truck and just make it drive better, with all the components that come with a stage one that's on our website, you're probably right under 10 grand or so with labor and everything included. All the way on up to, it could go on up into the 100,000, $120,000 range depending oh, on what sure. they want. You know, if they're getting a full camper or, you know, a camper can be 30 grand. Yeah. So it all depends on what that person wants. Right. 
and what all they want to do underneath. So we're going to get to see this client see his truck for the first time. He hasn't seen this at all yet. He's seen a couple pictures of it, but he, he like pictures never do anything justice. Yeah. Like to be able to stand here and look at what's going on on the on the rear axle of this truck, you know, all the other things, you know, the, all this stuff. You'd be able to come up and look at it. A picture will only tell you so much, yeah. you know. So to be able to stand here and, and take it all in, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm excited to see him. So you flew in today from Vermont? Yes, yeah? Burlington, Vermont. Okay, and how long is this process? This is the first time you've seen your truck? First time I've seen it. Uh, I think we started talking like uh, last summer yeah. and then uh, started waiting for some of the parts to come in, which took a few months and then built it over the winter. Man, so cool. What do you think? I'm blown away. I've never seen something like this before. So. Yeah. What, did, uh, what was your original goal? Like, why did you want to build something like this? I wanted a truck to do some long range trips. My buddies and I go away every year and just go for big adventures. And whether it's mountain biking or, you know, going kayaking or something like that, we always just want to get out there and have some fun. And so you needed something that would get you there and yeah. let you camp out of it. Yep, and... exactly. Cool. What are you most excited about? Uh, just the fact that I can actually go fast for once. With my other rig, it's nice and slow and you sort of plot, or, plot along. Uh, but uh, this thing I think will make allow me to go a little quicker. Yeah, something tells me that yeah. you won't have any problems going fast nope. with this. <laughs> okay, so I used to think my own truck was pretty cool. Not so much anymore. That's what you get for hanging out with Walt Wagner Tactical Application Vehicles. If you like those rigs and want to see more like them, make sure you comment, subscribe, like our YouTube channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.